Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I'm featuring the Lighting the Way bundle from the 2023 Stampin' Up! Spring Mini Catalog. I love this bundle. I've got lots of ideas for you, so if you need more ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog. Um, this card is, I guess I'm calling it a light up pop-up card. It folds down flat like this to go in your envelope, but then when you open it, the little lantern sticks out like this and then I bought some uh, battery operated tea lights that I can just slide right in there now you can't see it obviously because the lights are so bright I wonder if I turn the lights off if we could see let's try oh I think maybe you can see it now can you guys see it twinkling isn't that fun all right, well, I'm gonna show you how to make this card. It's not too difficult. The first thing that we need to do is create our background, which is a watercolor sunset background. Um, and then we're gonna to need to give it some time to dry. So let's do that first. I have half a sheet of our shimmer white. And the reason I have half a sheet is because we need to do this piece and this piece right here. And I have bowls of water here. Um, hopefully I'm going to be able to do this without making a huge mess. You're going to need some water to clean your brushes as you blend. Um, I've also got a paper towel. I've got my water painter and then the inks that I am using include Daffodil Delight. Let's go in order. Daffodil Delight, Melon Mambo, Rich Razzleberry, and Blackberry Bliss. Now you can use your reinkers, you can use your ink pads, whichever you prefer. I think just for the sake of mess today, I'm going to use my ink pads. And I have got clear blocks here. I'm going to put some ink on my clear blocks. I've got, um, I'm going to just start with these two. Daffodil Delight and Melon Mambo. You can also use the inside of your um, ink pad if you want. You squeeze it like this, and when you open it, you have a little bit of ink there. All right, so we're going to start at the bottom with Daffodil Delight. I'm going to get it nice and wet here on my block, and I'm just going to start painting across the bottom. You got to keep it pretty wet as you move so that those colors will blend together. And remember, I'm using a bigger piece than I need because we're gonna cut it down to two different pieces. You can, of course, use the exact size pieces you want, but I like doing it this way. All right, now I want it to be the most yellow on the bottom, so I'm gonna continue adding yellow from the bottom to the top. All right, we're gonna move that aside for now and we'll get our Melon Mambo. I'm gonna clean off my brush there and my yellow water real good and move over here to my pink water and I'm gonna start from the top. And I'm just gonna move the way, the way, all the way down as I go. I want it to be darker up here. And whoops, I just dipped it in the wrong color. Let's move that out of the way. As I get down here, I'm gonna need some water to get these to blend together. So you wanna make sure you've got lots of water on your brush. And you'll see here in the middle, things start to get kind of orange, which is what we want. Okay, just keep adding that color. I just love sunsets. It's so fun. I didn't mention I had um, use I'm using painters tape here with my um, half quarter sheet of shimmer white. I taped it onto just a piece of cardboard. All right, now I'm going to go back to my yellow, and it's going to take me. I got to get most of that pink off of my brush there. All right, now I'm going to come back. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to add some more yellow to this block. So I'm going to dry it off and add some more yellow. All right, now I'm gonna get that yellow and start going up, meeting that pink there as I go. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, the last color that I'm gonna use 
is my Rich Razzleberry and Blackberry Bliss. Um, these two colors are very similar, so I only have one block for these. Um, we're gonna use mostly our Rich Razzleberry, and you don't need as much here for this because this color is super dark. And I'm just gonna add some up here at the top and work my way down just about a quarter of the sheet. I don't wanna lose too much of that Melon Mambo. The reason I tape my paper down is you can see it's starting to kind of bend, you know, it's crinkling up because it's so wet. This will keep it taped down and easier for you to manipulate. All right, now let's wipe that off and get our rich razzleberry and add, I'm sorry, Blackberry Bliss up here at the top and we're just gonna add a little more dark just right there at the top. We want it to be the most dark there at the top. All right, now this is gonna need some time to dry. So I'm gonna set it aside. I'm gonna clean up my mess, give it some time to dry and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish this beautiful card. All right, my piece is dry, so we're gonna take this off here. And uh, careful when you peel your painter's tape off. I can't even get mine started. You don't wanna tear um, your paper. Sometimes you can just kind of slide it out underneath there like that. Just be very careful. You don't wanna tear it and have to start over. All right, now we're gonna cut two pieces from here. We need one piece that is four by five and a fourth. And the first thing I like to do is just cut off the edges, okay? Because we don't want that white border. All right, so over here on this edge, I'm gonna cut a four by five and a fourth. And you know, I'm not crazy about that right there. So let's just cut that off. We've, we've painted more paper than we actually need. So we have a little bit of wiggle room. All right, so four by five and a fourth. Okay, didn't have much left after I cut the border off. Now this piece right here in the front, we're gonna cut from the bottom because we want to have that kind of yellow part down towards the bottom. So this piece needs to be three and an eighth by th three and an eighth. Well, let's see if I get my blade back in there. There we go. All right, I'm gonna cut that edge off right there. And then three and an eighth. All right, so there are your two gorgeous pieces of sunset. Now, you're gonna need two Blackberry Bliss pieces. And remember guys, there is a free PDF over on my blog that'll have all the measurements on it. Um, if I start spewing out <laughs> measurements, I'll probably get them wrong. All right, so we're gonna put that on the Blackberry Bliss piece. This piece right here, we're gonna fold. You wanna score all your score lines. It's gonna make kind of like the letter C. See that? And we're gonna adhere this into that middle section. All right. Now we have to put a hole in the middle of this so that the light will show through. So grab a circle die. I think this is probably my second smallest circle die and put that right in the middle. And you could save that for something else. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now on the back, I've got just a piece of vellum that's about two and three fourths by two and three fourths, and I'm gonna adhere it right there. Okay, now I'm gonna get some tearing tape. I wanna make sure that this doesn't come off of my card front. So I'm gonna use really strong adhesive which is tear and tape is my preference. 
Okay. There we go. Now, fold it up like your C and fold down these flat like that. So your piece looks like this. And actually, before we adhere, we've got to add our mountains. I have cut out two basic gray mountains. Um, these are from the uh, mountain dies. I can't remember the name, but they'll be on the supply list. Put one, let's see, I'm going to turn one over. I don't want them to be exactly the same. So I'm going to flip that one over to the back. And then this one, I'm going to kind of shift over this way like that. Okay. Grab your scissors and trim that. All right. Now we're ready to put this on. Fold this piece up and fold. Let's see. This is the bottom. So fold in the bottom edge and center it right there on the bottom edge of your card. All right, and then fold down this completely flat and lay it down and there is your piece. See how that goes on there and your little tea light can go in there. All right, now let's make our cute little uh, lantern. I have a uh, vellum circle. Add some Daffodil Delight ink to the middle like that, as well as some Wink of Stella. You know, one thing I forgot to do over on the other one was add some Wink of Stella splatter. I don't think it's too late. Let's move that over and let's bring that over here. I uh, like to take some Wink of Stella, let's squirt it out onto just a clear block like that, and then just flick some stars onto your piece. I meant to do that before we cut it and I forgot, but it's not too late. Okay, so now let's get this piece together. I'm gonna actually, because this piece is still probably a little bit inky, I'm gonna lay that down in the middle and I'm gonna get some dimensionals. You can use liquid glue to hold it on, but mine is probably still pretty wet. So I'm just gonna add some dimensionals there to hold that on. Let's add one more right here. All right, so there's your lantern. Now, I've got one more mountainscape here that we're gonna put right at the bottom. And we'll put adhesive along the bottom of this guy. Put that right there. Again, you wanna cut that to match the edges of your Blackberry Bliss piece. All right, <clears throat> and then we'll put this right here like that. <clears throat> okay, so now we're ready for the sentiment. And I'm going to stamp, I'm actually using a sentiment from a different step, from a different set. It's called Stepping Stones. And I'm going to see if I can stamp this straight on this rectangle. We just need a piece of basic white that is the height and the length of the words. So I'm actually just gonna take my paper snips and cut that straight like that. I have punched out a basic gray cloud with my cloud punch. I'm gonna put that up here. I'm gonna add some adhesive to the left side of the words and put a dimensional on the right side so that we can put that even with our cloud. So it's stuck there with a the cloud, but then it's popped up over here. All right, let's add a piece of basic white to the inside of our card. I've got a rhinestone hanging on right there. That's how you can write your sentiment. We'll add a double linen thread blue, <laughs> double linen thread bow. There we go, tongue twister to the top of our lantern. With a mini glue dot. 
And then the last thing is a couple of rhinestone stars, just to give it a little extra bling. Now this will be a keepsake card, whoever you give it to, they can put that little tea light in there and display it on a shelf, a counter. It just would be really, really beautiful. All right, let's put that tea light in there. It slides right in like that. You could even put a dimensional on the bottom to hold it in after they've gotten it, but um, it will fold down flat like that to go in the envelope. And then you can put that little tea light in there. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this project. It's a really fun one, and I hope that you'll give it a try. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.